Here we are on site at a restaurant in a historical downtown New Baltimore where we put in our approved Kobe window that's approved by the National Window and Door Association Historical Division. Check out this window. It is just positively beautiful. Being that we're in a restaurant and it's a commercial setting, the top, the bottom window is stationary, but the top window is operating. They both can be made operating. Remember the old ropes and pulleys? Well, we're using solid brass chains, nice and shiny with the weights and everything behind it, historically correct. The outside of these windows have a baked on paint called K-Cron. This is just a wonderful product here at Finn's Eatery and Spirits. Here's my paint manager, Art Bruni. He will come out to your house and do your quoting. We do stained woodwork like on the ceiling, moving right into painted woodwork. We have a celery green on the ceiling. We have crown moldings and an ivory tusk. We have red scent as a accent and we're doing down to a caramel to artichoke green on the bottom. It's very decorative. It's very nice upscale for a restaurant. This is a different kind of window. I showed you the old world window a second ago with the chains and the pulley. Now here's a different style window here. This is called a pocket window that sits into the existing old window where you can keep your all original casings on your historical uh, restorations. This is also an extruded aluminum on the outside with all wood on the inside. I'm going to show you the outside quality of these windows. It's a very strong metal window. And if you look at this design right here, this is a historically correct brick mold made out of, out of aluminum. This is called OG design with a historically correct brick mold. And we have the bars up above it. This is correct for the era of 1923 when this building was built. Now, if you look at these windows right here, these are also a very interesting breed because these windows here, believe it or not, are vinyl. And we ordered them in with historically correct brick mold that was painted from the factory with a baked on paint process. And also, you know, this is our building that we painted and you can see all the different colors of paintwork that we did on it and the corbels and the little designs that we put above the windows. But all this woodwork we did, we had all this woodwork done out here. And if you look at this woodwork, you say, oh my God, that's a lot of wood, that's gonna rot. Well, guess what? It's all PVC, nothing here is gonna rot. It's all maintenance-free material. It's just if we ever get tired of the paint color, that's what we can do. We can just repaint it. Once we took all the T111 off, we found this old cast iron beam hidden down inside here, and we painted everything to match this beam. Now when it comes to this upper stuff here, we just mimic the upper stuff to make it also look like it's the same thing, but that all up there is all PVC. The woodwork and everything on the windows, around the windows, we got the bars that are historically correct. I wanna show you these windows over here on the side. I was talking to you about them on the outside that they were vinyl replacement windows and it was gonna be really neat because on the inside, they have an interior wood grain to them 